Welcome to Tuesday Yoga, everybody. I know I need it today. So um, just listen to your body, do what you can do, pause when you need to pause. And we're gonna start on our mat in a seated position. So let's just take a nice comfortable seat. Settle in, ground down through your sit bones, lengthen through the top of your head. Bring your shoulders up into your ears and relax your shoulder blades down your back. Close your eyes if that feels right to you. We're just gonna take a moment to really center in. Take a big deep breath in through your nose. Let it out through your mouth. In through your nose. Out through your mouth. Now in through your nose, out through your nose. Let your awareness rest directly on your breath. If at any time during today's practice, your breathing becomes labored, it's a sign to back off, to rest in the posture. But this could be also a great tool if you're feeling any anxiety about the day. It's a tool that we always have available to us. We just have to remember that it's there. In through our nose, out through our nose. And it helps to try to make the exhalation a little bit longer than your inhalation. You can leave your eyes closed or open your eyes. Inhale, arms lift up, look up. Exhale, hands come down, reach through your fingers as far as they'll go. Inhale, arms lift up, look up. Exhale, reach through those fingers as far as they'll go. Inhale, lift up, look up. Twist to your right, your right hand behind you, your left hand to your knee. Lengthen through the top of your head, gaze over your back shoulder. Let each inhalation take you taller and longer. And each exhalation might be an opportunity to twist a little bit deeper. Look forward, unwind, inhale, arms lift up, look up, twist to your left. Left hand behind you, right hand to your knee. Lengthen through the top of your head, gaze over your back shoulder. Breathe your way in. Look forward, unwind, plant your left hand down, right arm up and over. Reach through your fingers as far as they'll go, then rotate your ribcage up towards the ceiling, look up. Come back to center, plant your right hand down, left arm up and over. Reach, reach, reach. Now rotate your ribcage towards the ceiling, look up. Come back to center. Now we're gonna come on to our backs. So draw your knees in towards your chest, lift your head, lift your tailbone, turn into a little ball. Exhale your head down, rock it out from side to side. So rock out your sacrum. Hopefully it will feel like giving your sacrum a massage. Bring your feet down on the mat. We're gonna bring our hands down at our sides, walk our heels back. We're gonna tilt our tailbone back to flatten out the lumbar curve in our spine as we lift our hips towards the ceiling. Lower your hips back down. 
Okay, now this time as we lift our hips up, we're going to raise our arms up overhead. And then lower our hips back down, leaving your hands where they are. Now, as you lift your hips up this next time, we're going to bring our hands down. So lift the hips up, bringing our hands back down at our sides, lower down. Let's try that again. Press into your feet, lift your arms up and over. Lower your hips back down. Lifting your hips up as you bring your hands down at your sides. Lift, lift, lift. Slowly coming down. This is a great back stabilizing posture. Inhale, arms lift up, hips up. Lower hips down. Lift your hips up, bring your hands down at your sides. Lower your hips down. One more round, lifting your hips and your arms up overhead. Lift, lift, lift. Slowly lower your hips back down. Lift your hips up, bring your arms back down and then lowering your hips back down. Good work. Now we're gonna take our right ankle to our left knee, hold behind our left knee, right elbow presses against your right thigh as you slowly draw your legs in. Find that perfect spot, not too hard, not too easy, just right. Connect to your inhale and your exhale. Close your eyes if that feels right to you and feel your way in. Releasing your left foot down onto the mat, straightening your right leg up towards the ceiling. Take hold of a straight right leg, make circles with your ankle. Move the other direction. Point your toes. Flex through your heel. Point your toes. Flex through your heel. Straighten your left leg out on the mat. Gently guide the right leg towards your body. Find that perfect edge. Not too hard, not too easy, just right. Lift your head towards your shin. And release your head back down. Lift your head towards your shin. Release back down. One more, lift your head towards your shin. And release down. Draw your knee into your chest. Hug that knee in nice and tight. Now, as you hug this knee in, we're pressing out through the heel of your left leg. Drawing the right knee in, take hold of the right knee with the left hand. Open the right arm to the side. We're gonna drag the knee across the body. We're coming into a twist. Your left hand is on the knee. And you can even let that foot, if it's comfortable for you, drop all the way to the mat. Now, can you rotate your rib cage to bring your right shoulder any further to the mat, gazing at your right fingertips if that's comfortable for you. Fully relax into this shape. Look up towards the ceiling, draw your knee into your chest, hug both knees into your chest, lift your head, lift your tail and turn into a little ball. Exhale your head down, rock it out from side to side, rock it all out. Bring your feet down onto the mat. This time we're going to take the left ankle to the right knee. Hold behind the right leg, pressing the left elbow into the left thigh. Gently draw your legs in. So just find that perfect edge. Not too hard, not too easy, just right. Focusing on your breath. Our breath, prana, life force. Gaia, whatever energy you want to call that, that life force energy within us. 
Releasing the right foot to the mat, straightening the left leg up towards the ceiling. Take hold of that straight left leg, make circles with your ankle. And then move your foot the opposite direction. Point your toes, flex through your heel. Point your toes, flex through your heel. Straightening the right leg out on the mat as you press through your right heel, gently drawing the left leg towards your body. Find your perfect edge on this side. Lift your head towards your shin. Release your head back down. Lift your head towards your shin. And release down. Last one, lift your head towards your shin. And release down. Now draw your left leg in towards your body, straightening out through your right leg, pressing out through the right heel, taking hold of your left knee with your right hand. Open your left arm to the side as you drag your the left knee across the body, coming into a twist on this side. Really surrendering into this shape, letting the foot come all the way down to the mat if that feels right to you. Then can you rotate your rib cage to bring your left shoulder further to the mat, gazing at your left fingertips if that feels right for your head and neck. Notice where you can soften and let go. Look up towards the ceiling, draw your knee into your chest, hug both knees into your chest, lift your head, lift your tailbone, turn into a little ball, exhale your head down, rock it out from side to side, rock it all out. You can roll to one side, it doesn't matter which one, slowly coming up. We're coming up into tabletop position. Wrists underneath shoulders, knees underneath hips. We're gonna move into cat cow, dropping your belly, lift your heart to look up, then pulling your belly button towards the ceiling, round your back. So moving in and out of cat cow at your breath, at your pace. Just feel your way around. You can wiggle around if you need to. Let's do some hip rolls. So we're gonna bring our hands a little bit more forward of our shoulders and we're gonna begin to make circles with our hips. These circles can be as big as you'd like them to be or as small as you'd like them to be. Notice and feel what does your body need? Lingering wherever you need to linger. And then move the opposite direction. And then coming back into tabletop position. Wrists underneath shoulders knees underneath hips. Tuck your toes, lift your hips, downward facing dog, coming high up onto your toes. Lift your hips, press your heels back and down, tail your feet. Relax your head and neck. Soften. Wave forward into plank, and then coming all the way forward, rolling over your toes, lifting up, cobra. Press your hips to your heels, press back to child's pose. Bring your forehead to the mat, take a big deep breath in, let it out. 
Another big deep breath in, let it out. Tuck your toes, lift your hips, downward facing dog, coming back high up on those toes. Lift your hips, press your heels back and down. Wave forward into plank, wrists underneath shoulders, core is engaged, belly lifted, roll over the toes, coming forward, drop your hips forward, coming into upward, well, really, if your knees are up, it's upward facing dog. If you drop those knees down, you're in cobra. Lifting up, press your hips to your heels, bring your forehead to the mat, take a big deep breath in, let it out. Walk your hands back. All right, we're going to do um, one heart opening posture because we could all probably use some big, so one big heart opening posture. Um, we could all probably use a little heart opening today. So we're gonna come into a kneeling position for camel. Now you can leave your, the tops of your feet on the mat. Now hug everything in towards the midline, Pull in, hug in, lift through the crown of your head. You can bring your hands to the small of your back, to your low back, draw your elbows in together. I like to keep my toes tucked under and you'll see how we have a tendency, it's like my body just wants to like open up to the front, but we hug and lift up, tuck that tailbone under, look up opening your chest and the heart. So this is just gentle right here. This might be exactly where we need to be. Just looking up, just a gentle heart opening, a gentle chest opening. If you feel like you wanna take that a little bit deeper, you can bring your hands to your heels, opening your chest and your heart up, looking up. Lifting back up, come down on to the, so sit back down, take your legs to one side, bring your legs forward in front of you. Now from here, I said grab some blankets and some towels, right? So what I want us to do, I really want to set up for one big, good restorative posture. And so we're going to do that by, we're going to take a blanket, and I'm just going to take this blanket and I've um, just unfolded it once. And now I'm going to roll this blanket. So it's like a, a sausage, right? Like a pre-lunch sausage. And I'm going to take that, the back of the roll, and I'm going to bring it into basically where the small of my back is. Now, you might want books nearby. I happen to have blocks. Um, so I'm going to put those on either side of my legs. You might want one more towel or blanket nearby. And I'm just going to do a little mini roll for my head. So I'm going to put that back there because I'll need it in a minute. So we're going to bring our feet together in front of us. Baddha Konasana, bound ankle pose feet. So the bottoms of my feet are touching. Now these blankets or blocks or books can be on either side of our hips for a little bit of extra support. And then I'm going to slowly come back onto my back so that my spine is over that rolled blanket. Now I, I'm not sure if I'm going to need this extra little blanket or not, but it's there if we need it. We can do a little added roll for underneath the neck. Your arms can be stretched out to the side. It can be down at your side, but it's important that you really take the time here to set up to feel restful and restorative. It doesn't just happen in life or in yoga. You have to really take that extra moment to give yourself the space and the calm to feel rest, to feel ease. So just lay here for a moment and notice if there's anywhere that doesn't feel comfortable. And then what's some small thing that you can do to bring ease and comfort into that position. So do whatever you need to do 
to make your way into that comfortable restorative posture, reclining Baddha Konasana. And here in your reclining Baddha Konasana, I want you to notice anywhere you might be holding, clenching, or tightening, and let it go. Relax into whatever shape you're in. Relax into this space. Try to keep your awareness on your inhale and your exhale. When you notice that you're having a thought, just say to yourself, thinking and move back to your inhale and your exhale. And as you focus on the breath, I'm going to read a reflection from Rolf Gates's books, meditation, book, Meditation from the Mat. Starts with a quote that says, use your own light and return to the source of light. That is called practicing eternity. Halfway around the world, in another time and place, a different sage has come to the same conclusion as Krishna and the Bhagavad Gita. We turn our attention inward to discover our own light, and our own light guides us to the source of light. We take one step toward the light, and the light takes 10 steps towards us. As a military parachutist, I spent weeks learning how to properly exit an airplane, only to find that once I was near enough to the exit, I would unceremoniously get sucked out by the 180 miles per hour wind howling by the door. Much of the time we spend mastering technique is similar to the time I spent learning how to properly exit an aircraft. Once we do become still, the power of stillness draws us inward. Our own light guides us to the source of light.
Gently bringing your hands to your knees. Bring your knees together. Slowly and carefully, roll to your right side, pausing there for just a moment, honoring your transition out of the posture as much as you honor the posture itself. And then slowly and carefully, push yourself up to a comfortable seated position. And we're going to close today um, with alternate nostril breathing. So I just want to arm you with lots of tools today that you can use throughout the rest of the day and maybe throughout the rest of this week. So taking a nice comfortable seat, we're going to take our thumb. We're going to need our thumb in this and our thumb is going to cover our right nostril. Our index and middle finger are going to come to our forehead. So almost that third eye area. And then you'll be using your ring finger in a moment. But for now, just cover your right nostril with your thumb and breathe in through your left nostril. Now with your ring finger, close off your left nostril. Exhale down your right, opening up your right nostril. Inhale up your right nostril. Closing off the right, opening up the left, exhale down the left. Closing off, or then inhaling back up the left nostril. Closing off the left nostril, exhale down the right. Inhale up the right nostril. Closing off the right nostril, opening up the left, exhale down the left. Inhale up the left nostril. Closing off the left nostril, exhale down the right, opening up the right. Now just moving at your pace with your breath. And when you have exhaled down the left side, again, just releasing your hands, breathing through both nostrils. Taking a couple big deep breaths in, letting it out nice and slow. One more. Bringing your hands together at heart center. Just feeling your thumbs against your chest, noticing if you can feel the beat of your own heart. And this note, remembering that we all are here through breath and heartbeat. No matter who we are, we have lights inside of each and every one of us. There is more that connects us than divides us. Yoga will teach you so much about yourself. It will help you become flexible in mind, in body, and in spirit. 
For that, I am truly grateful. Thank you so much for coming to class today. Namaste. Good work, yogis. Thanks, Alicia. That was a gentle...